Hi guys, welcome to another video and this time it's again with my new um, deck, the Oracle of Smyrna, which uh, <laughs> from the comments I am getting uh, it seems like you love it you, and I am really in love with this deck, I'm really happy about this deck. Um, in this video I'm going to show you how we can use this deck in readings. <coughs> Sorry for coughing. So um, let's do um, a love reading, <laughs> a, a relationship reading. Not a relationship, a love reading, a general love reading for instance. Um, let's say that someone w wants to know what's going on in their relationship. This is not going to be an actual reading, a real reading, but I'm going to show you how we can use the, the cards. Well, I have a video where I'm showing you um, all the cards, just it's on my channel, you can watch it if you want. So yeah, after shuffling, cutting the cards, I always cut the cards. So let's use, uh, I, I will use a, a spread that I really like, which shows us where we are at, what we know, what we don't know, gives us an advice and the outcome. So the first card is where we are at. And we have a potion, Zafir. Now this potion is about, means success. Um, you can achieve anything you want. It's a potion that brings success in business. And, but not only in business, in the reading we can uh, interpret it as success in love. So this relationship offers you a lot uh, that that you are in, and not only um, in feelings and support, but it takes you a step further. And it is a really uh, lovely relationship, and it goes really well. The relationship is stable, and there's success. What we know about the relationship. We have Elenitsa. Elenitsa is um, a girl, a Jewish girl, Katina found, uh, and uh, she adopted her. She was mute. She couldn't talk, so she communicated with Katina with, through her thoughts. She's a medium. She's a really powerful witch. So what we know is that you found each other. Katina found her. You found each other. and. Um, you uh, communicate with the eyes, with thoughts. You, you are at the same um, state of mind, spiritual level. You're at the same level. You communicate, and this is a really great pairing along with uh, the Zafir portion. What we don't know about the relationship, there's Fula, the, um, the cousin of uh, Eftalia. Now, uh, she is a woman who likes to be on the you know, on the top. She likes to be recognized. She, she, uh, she has potential. She, uh, she is funny too, and she's a loyal um, um, relative. She helped Ethalia when she moved to uh, Izmir with uh, her girls. So what we don't know about this relationship is that there's that they w both want to achieve things that they both recognize each other. She was married to Paminondas. She was pushing him to be a better man. Sometimes there's an ego in this relationship, but that's absolutely understandable. And they are true to each other, so they should know that. Um, an advice about this relationship. We have uh, Spiros. Oh, <laughs> he's the first husband of Katina. She fell in love with him. Uh, she, he was a true... He, he was true to her, he, he loved her, he was a really nice guy and this card advises us to be true to each other and enjoy each other and love each other and offer each other um, the best that we have and be there for us, uh, for the relationship. And the last card uh, tells us about where this relationship will go if we follow this and we have the Hammam. The Hammam is a, was a place and it's still in the Middle East countries and I think there are all over the world Hammams uh, at this point where you can go to uh, relax, to ha have a bath. It's like a spa 
actually it's a spa they uh, they take care of you you can relax and you can find yourself uh, uh, embrace your thoughts and see where you stand so the this relationship will be a relationship that will be good for both parties and they will they, this is a relationship that is meant to be they found each other they were meant to be together they are good for they for each other and they're going to um enjoy the relationship and they will learn from the relationship and become better and feel relaxed they feel that they are at the place they were were meant to be and this also shows that they will have fun and um uh, enjoy each other's company and uh, undertake maybe trips and uh, yeah, their everyday life will be um, a lesson for them, a, a good lesson in a way, in a good way actually, that they that they will um, take care of each other. They are taking care of each other. This is a really uh, successful relationship, a really good relationship, a really a, a really loving uh, relationship. Yeah, so yeah, that's an example of having a relationship reading, how we can use the cards in a reading like that. Um, I will, all, but they are, you can use them uh, for any type of reading. Let's uh, have a career reading. Let's, let's say that someone wants to know what is, what is going on in their career life and how things will be in the next year. So how can we use these cards? Um, let's cut them again. Again, it's not an actual reading for a real person, I mean. So, first uh, card is where we are right now, and this is um, Cappadocia, the birthplace of Katina. So, we are at home, we are at the beginning. Uh, it's um, maybe a place we feel that is home, but Katina and Thalia left Cappadocia, so there might be dangers in this job uh, in a way maybe we don't feel safe and we, maybe we see it as a it's a job in order to move forward and it's like a temporary job in the past we have Aina so this was where Katina went after the fire of uh, Smyrna so this would indicate that in the past we had um, we found this job and we know that it's not the first choice because Katina left Smyrna she had to leave and she came to um, Aina so this was a job we took because we had to and it was a good opportunity and it was offering much but it wasn't our dream job and this makes sense to the now that we may th are thinking to find another job in the future our subconscious is Eftalia. Eftalia uh, is Katina's mother. She had her own business, uh, her beauty uh, botte spa. Uh, she was very driven. She she always she wanted to be. Um, she she didn't want to rely on other people. She wanted to be uh, independent and uh, have her own money. That was really important for her back in the uh, beginning of the twentieth century. So. We are driven to succeed. We are. We want to work. This person wants to work, and um, that's um, what is gen what drives this person to work, and that's why this person took this job. What they know is Rachel. Again, Rachel is a very in independent uh, woman. She was very brave. She was a fighter. She 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 paved her own path. So again, we see her that this person wants to pave her own path, and maybe they want to uh, undergo an, to another um, path and eventually uh, be the um, the boss of themselves, not work for someone else. And now we will use three cards to see where what will be in the next three months, six months, and the next year what will come so we have Epaminondas who is Fula's husband 
he had he was a barber so again we have this uh, work theme here um, in the next three months you will show your talents you will become the first I'm talking with you because it's like a reading but it's not an actual an actual person so this person will show the, their talents uh, succeed in this job they will get to know everything about the job and how things done and they will become a professional in the next three months in the next six months we have we have self -dale. this is the potion that brings uh, lovers back together and um, in career wise I think that there will be a, in the six months they will there might be another offer or they might again find what they are looking for after becoming a pro they will understand what they really really want and where they want to be and we'll see what's happening in the next year we have Bayetta okay she she was a, a prostitute back in Smyrna she was a real good soul she helped Katina in many ways and she was by herself she was her own boss so uh, that what what we saw here uh, uh, with um, Ephthalia and uh, Rachel and Aina and uh, everything with Cappadocia, it shows us that in within the next year this person will will try it, she will try he will try this person will try to create their own um, maybe uh, company or they will follow a path that was for them right and it will be being their own boss they don't want to work for someone else this job is in order maybe they, they took this job to learn about how the, the the path they want to follow the job they want to follow works and after gaining the experience and everything they need they will follow their own path the dream of this person that this reading would have been is that they will be the boss of their own and have their own company so you can see how we can use the, uh, the cards these cards in different kind of uh, readings and for different situations of course you can have a, a simple but not simple three card uh, spread to see you know maybe check in where we are at right now and any kind of uh, questions so we have um, Istanbul, we have uh, Ephthalia's beauty parlor, the Botte, and Ephthalia herself, the owner of the Botte. So, yeah, this would indicate that we are uh, taking care of ourselves. We are very self-centered at the moment. We, and this is a good thing. We need this, and we are very really driven. We enjoy life at its fullest. Fullest, Katina, uh, Ephthalia. Sorry, Ephthalia was. A really fun person to be with and a really a positive person and we have Istanbul which is um, like taking a break thinking bigger go going outside of um, the, our everyday life and see what we want maybe uh, with the spa here with the beauty park uh, uh, beauty parlor it means that take care of yourself, take a break, see what you need, where the, your next step is going to be, what you want to su succeed. And Eftalia is there for you. Be Eftalia, be fun, be, uh, be driven, be uh, a fighter and uh, a fun spirit and, uh, and just enjoy yourself. So yeah, that's how um, the cards work. I wanted to share with you. Uh, how the cards work and how and for you to see um, how they work they are an oracle deck if you are familiar with oracle decks then you know how to work with them you can also uh, just draw a card we had this card let's use another card so let's you can draw a card and uh, use it in another reading you may have with a tarot deck or Lenormand deck or Deste even or anything like that um, I really love this deck. I'm really, and I'm really proud of this deck. I, I think it came out beautifully, and uh, thank you that for the kind words. And that I'm really happy that you seem to love this deck and that you enjoy it. And um, yeah, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this deck. If you want to have a printable copy, just. Uh, 
visit my Etsy shop and there you can purchase it.